Hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and today we are going to be doing another Python tutorial in the Python shell. And this is episode 4, and in this tutorial I plan to teach about the, uh, hold on, is there any, no, uh, I'm going to be teaching the Dell keyword, the for loop, the, uh, range function. Um, Maybe some other stuff if I come up with something, but for now, just stick with me. Uh, so, what are we going to teach as of right now? Well, say you have a variable, oh, the none keyword, that's what I'm going to teach now. Anything in Python, uh, like print, it is a statement, uh, but it is also a, a keyword. It is a Python keyword. It is built into Python. Um, that means that... You cannot make a variable called print z equal to 10 or something. You'll get an error because Python doesn't understand it. It, it sees this as a keyword. So you can't override keywords. The well is a keyword. Uh, def is a keyword. And that sort of stuff. I'm sure you know what a keyword is. Uh, if you've done Lua programming. And if you didn't know what a keyword was in Lua, then uh, you should know what it is now. But, um, yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. That, that is a keyword. Now, say you make a variable and you call it i and set it equal to 1, right? But uh, I don't know why you would want to use this, but say you had a variable called i and you wanted to do something else, right? Uh, I don't know, but th this could be useful. You can type del i, I or review print uh, i, let's say 1, uh, del, uh, del i print i. It'll say name i is not defined because there's no variable or anything in our program called i anymore. Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know why you want to use this, but I actually just discovered it, like, uh, about three minutes ago. <laughs> Whenever I fired up, uh, the interactive shell and I typed def and it said del, and I thought, well, does this delete? And then I thought, delete? Nope. So, let's just... A little tidbit of information. Now, if you have a variable called, uh, say, uh, lol, and you don't want to set it equal to a value, if you just say lol, it'll give you an error. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Well, say you wanted a variable, but you didn't want to give it a value right away. Well, instead of setting it equal to, like, zero or uh, nothing, you can actually just type with capital N, none. And this in Python, this is a Python keyword, and this says right we're assigning this variable lol to have the to have no value it has a none value or it's the equivalent of nil in Lua or null in Python action script C C plus plus etc etc we do that then we do print lol you'll say none and then later on we can just do 10 print uh, lol I'm gonna no, 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 say that and yeah I should take there's a guy and I think it was the same person that commented on one of the other tutorials, and he's called JJ something. <laughs> I, I, sorry if you're watching this. I, I don't know how to uh, pronounce your name, and I don't want to give my attempt at pronouncing it in case it's wrong. But uh, I just call him JJ, and he's a pretty cool guy. He says I should slow down, and I should, but <laughs> I don't know if I can. I would love to slow down and like talking, but I always just talk really fast. But, um, so. Uh, now for the for loop, or yeah, for the for loop and the range function. So we're gonna type the for. A for loop will loop. Well, it's hard to explain what it does. I'm gonna show it, and you might be able to apply your own use for it. So for i in range. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna show what it does, and. Now you see what this does. So what does this do? Well, it says, forget about 4, right? It's, that just means it's a, it's a for loop. So we're saying for, for i in range. Now, uh, in the range from 0 to 99, because everything in Python starts at 0, it's called indexing. You should know that. Uh, everything starts at 0, so... For i in range of 100, that really means from 0 to 99. Uh, 
and so the range of this number, right? How am I going to explain this? Ah, uh, thank you, and think. Okay, so the range adds. So it so the range will start at zero. For the range of a hundred, we're going to start at zero and work our way up to ninety nine, and that's a hundred times, right? So that's kind of a bad explanation. So range. We'll start from 0 and go to 99, and it will store that variable in i, so i is equal to whatever range is, and that'll keep running that loop until it gets to 99. Now, I, uh, say you wanted to run the scene code, but you wanted to go from 0 to 100 for i in range 101 print i, and that print 0 to 100. And that is the for loop. So basically, it the range from the range of zero to the number specified in there. Take away one. Uh, that will add one to the. It'll store that value in i and add one to it each time. If that makes sense. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it's kind of a bad explanation, but it was the best way I could think to explain it. Uh, yeah. So what are we gonna teach next? Well, I think. What we should teach next? Uh, whew. what did I say I was gonna teach? What am I gonna teach? Uh, well, I don't think I had something else to teach. Well, we've only recorded six minutes, and uh, maybe I should stop now. Anything else to teach? Nope, nothing else in this tutorial. But the next tutorial we will be covering math functions. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, hope you learned something. And I will see you in the next video.